That was a good boy, Frederick. That's your first duck in your mouth. That's your first duck in your mouth. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. It is time for a little bit of teal hunting solo action, baby. Are you ready for a little solo hunt? Just me and you, Frederick? Oh, Jackson, you can't go, buddy. They are both wired. They just woke up. And old Frederick, he's ready to go. Come on, Fred. But before we get going, check it out. We just dropped that Blades camo hat with the fullback. These are perfect for winter, y'all. A lot warmer than the mesh back trucker style hats. If you want to pick one up, I will link them down in the description below. You ready to load up, Frederick? Huh? Hold on. Watch out, boy. Watch out. Goodness. You're wild. He is excited to go look at him. <laughs> I didn't even have to tell him to place. You want in there? Go on. That's a good boy. But I wanted to open the video before we got to the field because this is a solo mission and I am gonna be busy. Uh, this little duck hole, it is just south of my house, only a mile and a half. So I was able to sleep till about 5.50, 5 55, 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, didn't have to get up at the butt crack of dawn, you know what I mean? 3.30, 4 a.m. in the morning. So. There is roughly, I don't know, I checked last night and there's about 40, 50 till at most. This time last week and even last Wednesday, there was like 200 till on this pond. Now, I don't know if they're just not all coming when I'm there and I don't, I don't see them all or maybe some of them left. I don't know. Seems like the till have been pushing extremely hard. I have heard that Nebraska, you guys still have a ton of till, an absolute load, so. That makes me a little happy knowing that we have more blue wings to come. But for the most part, uh, we were loaded up right before opener, and then two days before opener, we had a storm front come in with a north wind, and they just pushed out. My little puddle went from 200 birds down to 40 to 50, maybe, so. It, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But today, me and Fred, you guys have been requesting it a ton. I have been waiting. I wasn't able to take Fred on the opener because the boys at Wing Chaser had their own dog, you know what I mean? So, it's just me and Fred today, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Hopefully, we can down a bird. I mean, hopefully. Well, it is shooting light, and check it out. I'll try to zoom in for you guys right down there in the middle. Man, ducks have just been piling in. I mean piling. But what a lovely morning it is today. Wow. This is our little spread. Got out three dozen, two and a half dozen-ish floaters. Strung them real far on the left side. Put the mojo, one mojo that is, right in the middle. There's probably two dozen uh, teal and wood ducks, small decoys. And then we got about a dozen, not even a dozen, probably, oh look, look. Them's right there are mallards, boys. That's one thing about this hole is that uh, Fred, Fred here, set, set. You better be a good boy, Frederick. He's being good, but today I got Fred on the leash, so got my old foot on it. You guys have been suggesting that I get this quit. Oh my god. I hear you, bud. There are a bunch of mallards here. Seen about two groups of till land, but uh, boy howdy, we got the mallards, boys. You gonna be a good boy? Huh? You gonna be a good boy? He's been watching these ducks land and he gets real excited. He tries to go around the blind and pulls, pulls his leash around there and about knocks it over every time. Calm down, bud. You'll have one in your mouth soon enough. Look at him though. He's just happy to be out here, aren't you, Frederick? You guys have been waiting for a Fred duck hunting video, and boy howdy, ever since the day I picked him up from Tennessee with Parvo weighing next to nothing looking like a skeleton, I was like, is there any way that I'm gonna be able to get my dog, this dog that looks like a skeleton? He was literally skin and bones. Here he is right here, check him out. Yeah, he got Parvo and he looked absolutely horrendous when I picked him up, so. Here he is today, looking big, nice and healthy, you big spoiled brat. He is, man. He's a brat. But if you guys liked the video so far, me and old Frederick out here, ooh, here's one bombing decoys, it's shooting light, boys. 
like I was saying, darn it, he landed. Anyways, if you guys are liking this video, smash that thumbs up button for your boy and for Frederick. Let's get this video over 3,000 likes, please. It helps the video a ton. But it has been shooting light for, I don't know, about seven minutes. But they're coming in this way and they're burning right over the spread and they're landing down there. The forecast said south wind, south. That is an east wind today. <laughs> it, it never fails. One thing I gotta stress to y'all is make sure, guys, 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 I know shooting light, a lot of times we have ducks just like this pouring into the spread, but if you don't know what they are, take your time. Let it get a little lighter out. Let the sun come up a little farther because you never want to mess up, you know what I mean? Just be sure of what you're shooting before you pull that trigger. And as you can tell, we got the old panel blind up. Hasn't been much use yet, has it, Fred? <laughs> I have been seeing some dove fly, so hopefully uh, we'll get a teal or two down here. There's a big pocket of teal down there. There's maybe 20 or 30 of them down there. Um, hopefully they'll get up and come this way, because boy howdy, my anticipation is just out the roof here. Hey, look at this, boys. Here we go. Come on. Oh. Go down. There we go. Here, here, Fred. Here. Sit, sit. Fred. There we go. First bird down. We got some more flying right here. Yeah, buddy. It's way farther back than that, Frederick. Yep. It's in some deep grass over here. We're going to have to go help him. First bird down. Heck yeah. Hopefully we can find it because this grass is deep. Look at that. Set. Set. Good. Oh. There we go. First bird down. That's a chubby guy. Whoops. First bird. There he is. That is a chubby, chubby, chubby teal. My goodness. No wonder they look so big. They are fat. That's good stuff right there though. Come on, Frederick, that was a good boy. Uh, I actually walked right past it in the grass and Fred found it, so way to go, Frederick. That was a good boy, Frederick. That's your first duck in your mouth. That's your first duck in your mouth. Woo! If you guys are liking the video, and if you guys are pumped, no, heel. If you guys are pumped, just like me and Frederick, that Frederick finally got his first duck in his mouth, baby. Hit that thumbs up button, baby. I was. I'm just glad I got one down. I know, it's it's one till, I get it. But boy, they all short stalked me over there. They all got up at once and they came this way. So if you guys liked the video, help a brother out. And, and let's show Fred some love because he did awesome. Here Fred, here, heel, set, good. That was a good boy. Now I still got him on the leash system. I just keep it under my foot, which isn't too bad. A lot of you guys have been telling me down in the comments, Bobby, get, you need to get that uh, gun, dog, gun Dog Supply Quick Release System. And it's for occasions just like this. I don't like Fred breaking. I don't want him breaking. I don't want him to learn that breaking is okay. He needs to be sent. That's, that's how I want Fred to be. So he's going to be tied down. This is working pretty good. Just standing on the rope, to be quite honest. So I appreciate you guys always telling me what I need, though, because hunting with a dog you all know it's a new game for old bob well been sitting here for about another five ten minutes and uh, i'm hard pressed to think that all those birds that got up and got scared off when i shot that one time i'm hard pressed to think that they'll come back it's kind of a one go thing this is a private little spot it's not like public public you have an abundance of water usually have an abundance of hunters to keep the birds up and you usually have an abundance of birds here like i said when the video started there's only 30 40 teal and probably 40 mallards but i'm just glad we got one down now if we get a shot at any dove we're gonna have to shoot some dove because we're gonna do a nice little catch clean cook at the end of this here video and some dove would be nice with some teal i don't know of a better combination actually for a catch clean cook mighty mighty tasty but while i'm here and while i just mentioned that uh guys if you plan to shoot dove and ducks be sure you got all steel shot in 
don't go dove hunting with lead shot and then see a duck and shoot it. No, no, no. If there's a possibility or if you're on public for ducks or anything like that, always, always, always still shot for dove if there's a possibility that you're going to be shooting ducks. Just, just a reminder. That's all. Oh, look, look, look. There we go. There we go. Fred. Woo! Number two, baby. That's a stud right there. That is a stud. Yeah. He's on it. Boy, he came right to the decoy. That was amazing. Good boy. Here. He got it. Check him out. Here, Fred. Check this out. Look how good he looks. Here, Fred. Good boy. My bird. Good. There he is. Woo. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, that's awesome. Two down. I didn't expect that one to come, Frederick. Heel. Heel. Sit. Good. That's a good boy. This leash, I'm going to be glad when we don't have to use this leash anymore, Frederick. Because it's kind of a pain in my butt. Wow. That last bird I just shot came up in here. Came all the way up here and landed right there with that big decoy. Right there. That was a close shot. I finally smacked him when he was over here. <laughs> number four shot today is what I'm using. I like number four and number six for teal. Y'all have been asking. Number fours today with a full choke at, I don't know, that was probably 15 yards. I had to wait. I had to get him on the second shot. Oh, we got dove. Darn it. Fred. Well, I'm just letting him play now. Yeah, I know. It didn't go very far, dude. Fred, here. Come here, buddy. Look at him. He's just a big puppy. Fred, here. There's nothing there, man. Fred, here. There's nothing there, dude. <laughs> He's just a big old puppy, I tell you. Come out here to let Fred just play in the water. The ducks are definitely over. That's a done deal. I've literally only seen probably four dove today the entire day. I've seen most of them right at first light. So uh, I was actually contemplating dove hunting this little water hole, but they are not here. But since it's basically over, I wanted to show you our birds today. Two really nice looking teal today. Awesome. Awesome looking blue wings. Chubby little guys, let me tell you what. They're mature little birds. Nice heads on them. Well, that's it, Frederick. That is all she wrote for today's duck hunt. But we're going to do a catch clean cook. We're going to take both teal home and make up some yummy, yummy jalapeno poppers, baby. Oh, boy gonna be a good lunch but first we gotta pick up the spread here all two and a half dozen well hi there what are you doing pretty boy old Frederick he just woke up from a nap only two birds today. I can't wait till we get him on enough ducks and geese to where he's just wiped out and worn out. Well, look at him. He's like, Dad, so uh, can we go dove hunting tonight? <laughs> Guarantee you, he wants to go. But here we go. We got the old grill going. She is up to temperature, looking good. And I got everything ready inside. I wanted to show you the one, two, three step process to making jalapeno teal poppers. These are my favorite. So here we go, step one, cut them in two. Step two, take all the innards out. All the seeds, all the innards, take it all out, clean it out with water. Step three, fill with cream cheese. And step four, bacon wrap the breast and, and put some toothpicks on it to hold it all together. I don't even really season the breast much. I put a little bit of seasoned salt on them, but that's about it. The bacon gives that teal just some added flavor. It is like a little steak in your mouth, let me tell you what. Well, 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 here we go. Let's throw them on the grill. One thing that Jordan taught me last year is when you throw these on the grill, make sure you throw them breast down, meat down, so the cream cheese is upside down. There we are, we're gonna let them bad boys grill. So what I mean is, if you throw them on the grill, pepper side down, It'll heat up the cream cheese, so when you have to flip it to cook the other side of the breast, the cream cheese is melted, so it just flows right on out. Cream cheese side down first, y'all. 
Don't be losing all your cream cheese out here. Well, here we go. Look at them little beauties right there. Woof. Now guys, one thing about the cream cheese, you gotta let these suckers cool off a minute because the cream cheese will be lava in your mouth. It'll, it'll scold the tongue. Perfect. Oh. I was worried that I cooked the till too long. Yeah, it's, it's done, but it isn't like real, real done. It's really soft. That bacon, Put so much good flavor into that meat. Oh my goodness. Woo! Two birds. Four poppers. That's going to be a perfect little lunch for you, boy. Oh yeah. Mm. Woo! One down the hatch. Three to go. I'm going to sit here and destroy these bad boys. But guys, if you guys like today's video, please, please, please smash that thumbs up button. It only takes 0.2 seconds. It helps this video out so much. And if you like to catch clean cooks, if you want me to do more of them, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys have any video ideas whatsoever, you gotta let me know. Drop a comment down there say, Bobby, I want you to do this. You should try that. Hey, Bobby, you've never done that, but you should try it this way. Just let me know. I appreciate all the video ideas. But 100K, a lot of you have been here for more than two years. The channel's like three years old. We're growing every day, and I couldn't be more not only proud of the channel, thankful to you guys. Could not be more thankful. Without you guys, I couldn't be doing this. Without you guys supporting me buying Ducks Waterfowl gear, like this new flat bill. Oh yeah, she clean, didn't she? She just dropped. That's that cupped Ducks flat bill. If you want to sign up for the t-shirt of the month, if you want to grab this flat bill, I will link them in the description below. Every time you guys pick up something from Ducks, it does. It directly helps me bring y'all more videos. But, what an awesome hunt. Fred got his first stuck in his mouth. If that don't deserve a thumbs up, I don't know what does. But subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Peep, peep.